friends and resellers, it's Trish with Wellsourced coming at you with a Goodwill Outlet bins haul video. So I just happened to have gone to the bins two weeks ago, but my husband was coming back from a work trip and he was coming in at like 1.40 on a Sunday. So I thought, you know what? Not going to give up this opportunity to go to the bins. So I ran down to the Nashville bins. They open at 10 on Sundays. And I think I left there at noon. So I got there just at opening. So I was there for about two hours. And I wasn't in a mad dash to pick up a thousand different items. I just was kind of being particular and decided to pick up um, a random assortment of things you'll see in this haul. But it was kind of not a bad day. It was actually a good day, um, but just sort of slow moving, I guess we'll call it. And it was sort of a slower day. Um, it wasn't super, super busy when I got there, but it was just kind of a different day. Um, weekends tend to have a little bit different of a vibe. I don't know if that's similar at your bins location, but I do pay a dollar fifty nine uh, per pound. And I think I paid $50 or $58 or something this day. So I really didn't get that many items. However, I knew that I still had a few items to list for my last haul and I wanted to get this stuff listed and then I'll head back to the bins um, probably next week. I would say, oops, that is still crooked. Or we're just gonna go with it. So if I look a little off, that's why. Um, I really, there's a random assortment of things in here. So we'll just start with what's on top. Nothing is going to be by category because I threw it all kind of in here. So I found these boots in a random bin like someone had tossed them back. Um, I knew they looked like Fry Boots right away, and then I saw the little Fry logo. They have a grippy sole on the bottom, um, and it looks like they were $99.99, whether that was at like a consignment store or a Goodwill. I hope they wouldn't price them like that at Goodwill, but this might be, it's not the Melissa button boot, I don't think. Um, they are a size eight and a half, um, and they don't look like they have the wide calf on them. So even I have the wide calf ones, um, which are still kind of, I don't feel like that way. So they zip up the back. I don't know what the style of these are. I've never sold them. But they're a brown boot. The only thing I could see that was flawed with them, because this one says as is on the bottom in that grease pencil is there's like a little a little nick it's not even a nick it's just like a little rubbing on the leather there that i will just put some dr martin's wonder balsam on rub that in there polish these up so a perfect season a great boot um do i think fry is as hot as it used to be maybe not but it's still a quality boot and people do like it like i have several pair that i do love when i'm not wearing um <laughs> flip-flops and sweatpants okay I saw this in an accessories bin which came out right when I was leaving the accessories bin did and I just kind of popped in there people were you know ah, going crazy but I saw a few things so I snagged it so this is a leather braided belt it's definitely a wider belt so it would, you'd be wearing it over like a sweater or a dress um, I saw the newest tags on it though and it is Chico's and it does say it's a size medium, genuine leather made in India, and it retailed for $89. So I feel like that is a great piece. Chico's does sell pretty well for me, especially a new tag and a high quality leather belt like this. Um, so I think that will do well. This is another belt I got. It's super stretchy, but it's, it's very, it kind of looks like a weapon. Um, but it's the kind of belt that just fits in here like this. So this is very kind of 80s to me, uh, maybe late 70s, 80s, but sort of artsy, art to wear. And it's a very small size. Like this does not stretch very far. So you'd have to have a very small waist for this. Um, anyway, I grabbed it because I thought it was kind of interesting, but it didn't have any marks or anything on it. It's got that hammered bronze on the front. This I just grabbed for myself, um, even though the comps are probably like $15, but it's Graf Lance, designed in Los Angeles. It was not folded up, but it folds into itself. It's just a, like a market bag, a farmer's market bag. 
Do I go to a lot of farmer's markets? No, but it's nice to carry. If you are traveling and shopping, like if you were at Seattle or something at Pike Place, that would be down at the Pike Street Market. It would be fun to have down there. It is coming up like more green, I guess, but it's definitely like a mustard yellow, just a, a market bag. Thought that was fun. This is new in packaging. It was $4.99 at the Goodwill. It didn't sell. So I will go ahead and take that sticker off there. It's Pier 1 Easter Bright Stripe Runner. It's new in packaging. Um, I will probably take it out to get measurements. Or I might be able to count how many layers are there and measure it that way. But I saw this exact one listed. New with tags. Um, consistent comps at $25. Those of you who've been following me for a while know that I always put comps up along the way, but um, in the essence of my sanity and time with the kind of things work-life balance, it does take me a lot of time to go through, especially a long bins haul, and put comps up for every single item, which I've been doing that for like three years. So, but I've kind of stepped away from it the last video, and I'm gonna step away from it this video. It's just sort of an assumption that the things that I buy are going to be in that 15 to 25 dollar range for on the resale market um if i come across something later on that i discover as a huge bolo or i pick it up knowing it will you know garner a higher return of course like the fry boots they could be anywhere from a 50 to 100 plus depending on the style and the size so it's a good size if they were six or something a lot smaller but some are probably in the 50 to 100 range um but so that I can get through this and get my video posted uh, in a timely fashion, I'm going to not put up comps anymore because I feel like even when I was putting comps up, 90% of the time it said $15 to $18 or $18 to $23. So because that's kind of my average goal for sales. Um, so if I do come across something that I feel will get more of a return, I'll kind of point that out. This is the brand Kavu. I saw this on top of that accessory bin and it was in very good condition from what I could tell. So I ran over and grabbed it. No one wanted it. And um, these are that kind of crossbody style backpack sling bag and they tend to do pretty well. I've owned a couple. Um, I like Kavu stuff. It's, you know, high quality canvas. Okay, there's a random clothing item in here. So I've talked about in previous videos how I do try to pick up like a fast fashion brand or like Shein a piece if I think it has a potential to resell even if it's only for like ten dollars because then it keeps it out of that landfill I just those fast fashion things even Old Navy um or Gap kind of as fast fashion a little bit Zara Shein um anything from Target something that's going to be going through a quick turnaround on seasons and um, popularity for style so I saw this pair of shorts and I thought they were cute before I saw the brand it's a kind of pleated um, faux leather Kelly green short which I think are really cute someone can pull them off not me it's she and curve size 1 XL which really equates maybe to more like an extra large so I did pick it up to pick them up because I thought they were a sellable pair of shorts I thought these would be cute for fall someone could wear them with like a little booty and a top not me but someone could do that and I thought it would be cute so I did pick that up just to save it from going off to um, wherever it might be next whether it be pallets that get shipped to other countries and bundles and bales or if it goes to the landfill I'm not sure I should ask our bins where the stuff goes one of these days all right this is a leather belt size medium uh, Steven Steve Madden that was sort of irrelevant, but it is a leather belt and I like the style of it. It's a pant belt, but it does have a big kind of buckle on the front of it. That was in good condition. Let's see, if, it's kind of hard to buckle a belt when you're not wearing it. Um, so it has sort of a Western boho look to it. So I did go ahead and grab that belt. Belts are very easy to list and I feel like people will know whether they're gonna fit them or not. This is Fabletics, the Breathe Run short, uh, retail for $64.95, probably $19.99 if you're a member. But they are a size XL and they were new with tags. They have a little bikini brief in the bottom, khaki color with this lime green or neon green contrast back pocket. So they're just an easy listing. 
so I did go ahead and grab it. Here's another belt. Uh, when I got this home, it is questionable as to what is going on here on this. It is a man-made um, upper, but the liner is leather. So I am going to just take a cleaner to it and see if I can get that whatever's on there to come off. But it's White House Black Market, which retails for quite a bit for being a mall brand. And it is a stretchy belt with a big silver tone and black tone um, buckle. So if I can get that cleaned up, I didn't quite notice it in the bins when I was there. Um, oops, right, Lucas. This I won't show you every one of them, but it was just a bag of pins. And so I thought I would grab them. I There was one that said, be a nice human and something like kindness matters, uh, be kind. So I liked that message. So I thought, oh, well, I can just grab those pins for myself. But then there are a bunch in here. They just, I think they came from Target or Amazon, Target, Amazon. Um, and there are some bundles. Like one says writer and one says read more. So I thought that would be really cute for like a librarian or a teacher or um, something, you know, along those lines. I could bundle a few of them up that were sort of on the same um, subject matter. And my mom used to wear pins all the time. She taught for 30 plus years elementary school. And she has a thousand different pins that, you know, a cat pin, a pumpkin pin, a turkey pin, a Christmas pin, like Easter pin. <laughs> A uh, spring pin, a flower pin. She has a bazillion different pins from being a teacher. Do I think that maybe teachers in this next generation wear a lot of pins? No, because I don't think a lot of people wear pins as much anymore, like, you know, brooch. But this is the brand Poetry. I feel like maybe I've picked this brand up before. I don't exactly know where it's sold, but these are a pair of extra large, 100% linen, charcoal gray pants. Um, they're a cropped wide leg with these elastic panels in the sides and they do have pockets and so the comps on that were more in like maybe the 30 range this is just an easy listing it's the brand zara and it is um i'm not going to spend the time trying to find the oh here we go acrylic polyester and acrylic i swear this had wool in it Oh, here we go. Acrylic, polyester, and a little bit of wool and stretch. So it's just a beanie. I feel like we're coming on to a good season. It's a gray stretch rib knit beanie with this fun little palm on it. Okay, this is the brand Swimsuits for All. I've done pretty well with this brand in the past. Um, so I saw these and I picked it up. This is like a bandeau top. It does look like the straps are attached, so it's not adjustable, but maybe, are they? Oh, so maybe it can be a strapless bra, but it's a bandeau crossover top with this gold tone hardware on it. It's a size 14. So I saw that and threw it in my cart thinking, great, um, easy, easy listing and a brand that has historically done well for me. I don't know if they do not do only plus sizes on this brand, but that's what I have found in the past. Or not plus sizes, but a, a extended size, like large and up. This is the same size exact style top as that last one, except in this magenta purple kind of color. So I will probably just lot those together because they're the same size, same style. And then I found this top. Um, this is a size 18 and it's this fun a boho print to it ribbed bikini top it's a size 18 did I say that and then later in the bin I found the bottoms that match it's also a size 18 so in very good condition everything was you know clean I always do look in the crotch area to make sure that there's nothing interesting going on in there and also oops the butt area um, where someone may sit like against the side of a pool or on the side of the pool. Sometimes that gets really pilly, but these were in, this was in good condition. So happy to pick that up. Again, another super easy listing. This is just another pin I found in that accessory bin. I don't know if it was in that with that other stuff. I can't remember exactly, but it's just an enamel um, pin with these fun floral. It's not marked at all, but I thought I liked that. So I thought I would keep that for myself. 
This is Talbot's Extra Large Peach Pale Pink Colored Sweater, uh, Sleeveless Sweater Tank. And it, I saw it and I thought, oh, that's cute. I'll get that. It's, it's linen. I think it's 100% linen. 100% linen. So I did just grab that thinking, no, oh, that's perfect. I'll grab that. And then in the same bin, I found a lot in this bin. Oh, a little, had a little dusty in it. <laughs> I found a lot in this bin um, of an extra large Target and I didn't pick a Target. Talbot's, I didn't pick everything up because I, um, not everything was in great condition, but I felt like this was in great condition. So then I found the sweater that matches over it, the cardigan. So it's a little bit of, it's a twin set. It's also hundred percent linen. Um, the only thing with this is it does have this little tweak of, um, in the stitch here in the knit on the sleeve. I have a little tool that has a little kind of screwdriver effect and I'll just pull it back through and it should be just fine. But I felt like the twin set was a nice thing. It's a lightweight linen set. It has multiple season wear and that can, it's older though. It's from like 2014, but kind of a coastal grandma wagon look, um, beachy spring or fall. You could wear that. So I, and you could wear it as just the cardigan or just the tank. This is the brand soft surroundings size extra large. And I did not look at the fabric content on these. I bet they're like a lyocell. Oh, 100% cotton. <laughs> they're just a chambray short kind of cargo style. And so I thought they were really cute and just went ahead and grabbed them. Nice lightweight. That'd be cute with that twin set, uh, linen twin set top, quite frankly. Okay, this is a vintage Christian Dior night nightgown um and it is i'm sure just polyester or nylon uh, but it's kind of a champagne color midi to maxi length gown with a kind of a scallop front to it with a lace trim it does not have a size or a fabric tag because i think i turned it inside out looking for it but the comps on these are pretty good um, because it is a vintage nightgown and it didn't have any snags or anything in it. Oh, there is a fabric tag right there. Great. I did not, I swear I turned this inside out. It's a size medium and it is union made uh, polyester. So that's great. Honestly, the comps for these were um, this kind of style from this time frame were 80 to 100 plus. So not all Christian Dior is created equally. I have found um, like a slip before and make men's ties maybe, and they're not all kind of created equally. Okay, earlier I was talking about like a librarian or a teacher having a pin. Well, I think this scarf would be, or for someone's book club. Ooh, I'll use that keyword too. It's just a shelf full of literature and clocks and vases, but it's just a bookshelf basically. This is a Talbot's rectangular scarf. That'd be so fun to wear for book club. Didn't even think about that till just now. Um, it is Talbot's, old Talbot's, but it is 100% silk. And that would be cute for a teacher or librarian. So I will use those keywords for sure. This was my only kind of project I feel like I brought home. It's a 1996 US Open tennis t-shirt. It does have some staining, so I'm gonna to try to wash it with some OxyClean and maybe stain treat it, some yellowing in the armpits, but it is a vintage tee. And I did see this exact shirt listed on eBay um, selling, you know, like 25 plus based on condition. Mine's probably less than that, but it did have a market to it. Cause that's, well, 1996 when I, is when I graduated from high school. So 28 years ago, I cannot be happy. I can't say that. No. Yes. Yes, Trisha. 28 years ago that you graduated from high school. All right. This is Judith March. I feel like Judith March is maybe sometimes sold at Anthropology. I saw this. I thought it was adorable. I grabbed it. It's got this heavy embroidery um, at the neckline. It's a real breezy tunic tank. Has these fun pom-pom details, pom-poms on the tie. 
When I brought it home, it does have a faint mark somewhere on the back. This is dry clean only. Why did they do that? Um, but I will try to just see if I can get it out. Otherwise, it's not noticeable, especially with the drapey fabric. Judas March does not resell for a great amount of money from my experience, but I really thought this was a cute, this might be a mini dress, but I think it's a tunic tank. Um, a very cute, kind of fun, summery boho piece. Okay, I spent a lot of time at the accessories bin and the hard goods bins because I just wasn't finding a ton of clothing items, which is fine because when I get small things like this, they're easy to list. Um, this is another Talbot's um, scarf. It's a larger, more um, voluminous scarf than the last one. It's a paisley print. It's just a viscose, but it's a nice color for fall and Christmas, I thought. Thanksgiving um, has a raw fringe eyelash kind of hem to it. So I did grab that because it didn't have any snags in it. This, I assume, is a silk scarf. It looks like it was hand rolled um, and stitched, but it's got a watermelon print on it. I, and my aunt collects watermelons. So I thought for her birthday, which is in November, I would just tuck this in, maybe wrap her gift with it, um, and send that off to her. You know, when you collect something, sometimes people buy stuff for you and you're like, please stop buying things that I collect for myself. <laughs> um, like if you collect, I used to collect donkeys. So people give me donkey things, but I had to collect donkey things that like sparked joy for me. Like I was like, I love this donkey. So I don't collect donkeys anymore. I only have one item left for my collection. But uh, so sometimes people like to buy their own things for their collection. However, I really liked that uh, watermelon scarf. Okay, this is the brand Echo Made in Japan Pure Silk Scarf. And it's just a rectangular scarf with yellow, gold, marigold color, and these large sort of daisy print. I didn't see any flaws with this. Um, it has the little signature down there. And the comps on these were in that, I feel like 25 plus range. So again, super easy listing, a pretty good return for an easy to list item that weighed nothing. <laughs> so that's probably why my cost uh, of goods this average cost of goods is way less than my normal probably because my weight was so low when I left and I got so many smaller items. This is UMG size medium large. It's just a kimono style top with some heavy embroidery at the cuff sleeve and down the front as this fun fringe detail at the bottom. It's kind of a mint green color. So easy to list, um, easy to throw on my body form mannequin and be on my way. This is Beta Brand, which I do not feel has its market like it used to. Um, when it was super hot, you know, you'd get them and they'd sell really quickly for quick money and you're so excited to find it. But these are a 2XL and they are in excellent condition. Like they do not look like they were worn maybe more than once, not washed a ton. Um, just they're the traditional Beta Brand like yoga work pant. So someone We'll buy those eventually, I guess. But I couldn't leave such a brand new looking item. Sometimes when you find Beta Brand, they're very worn, washed, and have a lot of um, pilling. This I found in a random accessory bin. It's their Madewell size large um, gauzy shorts, and they're from spring of 23. So they're just from last year. They're a pull-on gauzy short in gray. Did I say they were a large? Yeah, a large uh, pockets. And they may have come with like a matching kind of gauzy top but I feel like those will do well. And again, easy to list. I do pick up tights or nylons when I see them in packaging. I didn't even look up comps on this. Um, they're a convertible tight, dark tan size, large adult. And I feel like they're worth 10 bucks, but if I list them on eBay or someone can bundle with them on Poshmark. This I just grabbed, again, easy listing. It's a brown tote bag that says life is good. I liked the little pink kind of dots on there like a um, bird's eye print almost just a canvas tote a smaller tote though so a good size with some nice slip pockets on the outside random random assortment right <laughs> i was running around all the different bins just because i wasn't really needing a lot of inventory so i was able to kind of pick and choose different bins which i normally will stay focused in one bin 
This I thought was pro free people when I first saw it because I saw this little metal tag, but it's actually O'Neill, which is more like a surfing beachy brand. It's not a brand I recommend necessarily picking up. This is going to be tragic trying to show you what this looks like. Okay. It's a um, like a cover-up dress with this deep V. It does tie in the front and then um, has some ties at the shoulder. Then it goes down into this maxi length dress with some heavy embroidery. It's this really pale purpley mauve pink kind of color. But I think once I steam this up, put it on the mannequin and show it what it is, it'll do pretty well. And it's a size large. So I um, thought that was fun. All right, this is my random uh, assortment. Again, these are Brighton sunglasses. The tin is pretty um, dinged up but it also looks sort of vintagey so i'll just wipe it down and see what's on there exactly but i looked inside to see if there were actually brightening sunglasses inside and there were so these are a total 90s um, elaine bennis from seinfeld sunglasses julia louis dreyfus kind of dry julia louis dreyfus sunglasses in my mind i have a ginormous head so don't take that into consideration but they're um in pretty good condition they just need to be wiped down i didn't see there's you know a few scratches but no more than my sunglasses that i wear every day and they are brighton so um the tin was a little dinged up but i grabbed them and it does seem like there's kind of a market for this so happy about that these i found in a random bin they are ariat size 10 d boots i have picked up the same boot um I think four or five times they have a square toe and a kind of a new book leather upper they have a um, good sole there's a hunk of something gum or sticker on there I don't know what that is but these had just some heel wear on it these are in better condition than the last pair that I sold the last pair I grabbed were worn and probably cost me I think they weighed four pounds so that was about $7, but they still sold for $24 with discount ship on Poshmark or $28. These are in way better condition, so I would expect closer to $40 for them, um, and they're in a good size. There's not any major dings or cuts to them, so and don't need as much um, kind of cleaning or anything like that. And also easy because it's literally the same style <laughs> that I've picked up multiple times. A nice pull-on boot. These are a pair of Keens. I just need to lint roll the interior to them. They are a size nine, but they're just a waterproof Keen boot. Um, I wanted to clean up the bottoms to them. They just a little dirt on them, but otherwise the upper and the shoe itself were in good condition. I don't feel like Keen sells maybe as well as it used to, but um, those are also boots I would keep for myself if I didn't own 10,000 pair of shoes and boots already. Like how many wintry days can I possibly have? All right, last bins trip. I'm trying to see if I had it sitting around here. I got this sisal bag with leather straps and I was very excited because I had always kind of wanted one. And when I find them, they're very expensive and I am you know, not going to pay that much money for something I'm not gonna use every day of my life. So I found another one. I was so excited. Um, just a zip top, leather strap, sisal bag, you know, like a market bag or a beach bag. Um, and I grabbed this one for myself as well. So I thought that that would be great. I, is it more for the aesthetic or is it for the look for me? I don't know, but I want them both. This was $5 at, I can't read what it says on there. Maybe Walmart, but it was $5. It's a cake plate, has little hearts on it. I thought this would be cute for Christmas or Valentine's Day, um, just to either serve food on or put ornaments on or whatnot. I do like cake stands. So $5 originally, this weighs less than a pound. So, you know, a dollar maybe for it, but cheaper than what the thrift store would probably try to sell it to me for. So I did grab that for myself. I found this shoe in a bin. I thought, my God, that looks brand new. It's a um, leather loafer in very good condition. It has this kind of rubber outsole and then this pretty grippy tread. This fun pearlized um, top with the mixed metal flowers. And 
this serrated sort of edge to it. They are coach. They are a seven and a half. They're leather. They're in excellent condition. Like these were never worn outside um, or maybe once, but like all the stickers are on them and in excellent, excellent condition, especially for being banged around in the bin. The comps on this shoe, coach shoes are not created equally, but the comps on these were like in the 50 plus range. I think up towards $70. So I will get these listed a Ricky tick because I feel like the season, these have kind of an academia look to them. Um, that kind of nineties Y2K schoolgirl look to them, that chunky loafer. So there is a market for these and they are in brand new condition basically. This is just a little plate I got for myself. I like lemon stuff. Um, it is a Johnson Brothers Made in England Ironstone Lemon Tree Dishwasher Safe Little Plate. They, you know, go for $10 maybe on eBay, but I just wanted this. Um, just a little something to set a candle on, or I put my plants on if I have a small plant, or a propagation, um, like a, a jar with water in it with starts. I will just set that on there. So that's for me. And you may wonder, like, Trish, you seem like you bring a lot of this crap home to your own house. Do you ever get rid of anything or do you just live in a house packed full of stuff? I am a purger. So when I bring stuff home, I'm like, okay, let's go through and get rid of all this other stuff that I probably got secondhand. It didn't cost me money either. So I'm happy to offload things. Um, if I bring home several new clothing items, I will go through my old clothing items. I am constantly going to the Goodwill <laughs> donating stuff because I do not like to um, have clutter. I de decorate, but I don't like just packed things full. So I'm a pretty good purger. These are a pair of Sorel boots. They're a size women's seven. They do need some new laces. I think I can get some replacements for about five bucks. Um, and they were in like the $40, $45 range for resale. I can't remember what they're called, but these were in good condition. I like the colorway. It's a green with the brown and then the black. And they did show them with black laces. So they're in good shape. Um, I love Sorrells just because I grew up wearing them. This is the brand Taos, which is a comfort shoe that's pretty expensive, like $100 plus for shoes. They have a hook and loop closure at the top and a cross strap in this embossed, kind of bronzed color, leather. Um, and I can't read the size right now, but I think they were an eight is what I remember them being. They look kind of like an eight maybe. So in pretty good condition, I'll just give them a quick wipe down, but um, the soles were in good shape. And I just took my mom a pair of Taos that I found at the thrift store. Oh, Lucas just went to the groomer yesterday. So he's looking fresh, but I took my mom, leg is totally asleep, a pair of Taos sandals uh, when I went home this summer to see if she wanted them. This is just the brand Reef. Reef does pretty well for me. It sells quickly. Um, these are the bottle opener ones, and I can't think of what they're called. They're men's size 11, but they have a bottle opener on the bottom. Um, and what are they called? Hmm. Oh, well. Um, anyway, I you know, maybe $15 to $20 for those. Two more items, and then my last random item. Um, this is the brand El Natur... El Naturalista. Something for life. I can't read that first word in Spanish and I barely could read that. Um, they're a size 38. They are meant to have this kind of not natural distressing or a matte look to them. They're like a nubuck leather. Um, they're in pretty good condition. As you can see, there's a few marks on the heel there, but when you're wearing them, they're that not that noticeable. And I really thought they were cute. I liked the way that they were worn. If they were my size, I would be very interested in them. And then I found another pair. These just need a little bit of, um, well, it looks like maybe a little shoe glue at the front there too, I didn't notice, but just a little bit of conditioner and a wipe down. I'm just gonna sell them together because they're the same size and same brand. So if someone knows that brand, then they can get you know two pair of shoes for 40 bucks or something. I think the comps were kind of anywhere between 15 to 30 for each pair of shoes. So if I just list them together, it'll be an easy listing. 
and someone can get to kind of two pair of shoes in the same style. Um, just trying to think if I've got anything else that was not in here, but no. Nope. Okay, so my last random, random thing. <laughs> I came across a silver, a box of silver. So I found these silver, a set of silver. It wasn't a complete set, or I probably would have picked it up. It had the um, case and everything. It. I started counting out how many knives, how many spoons, how many uh, of everything it had, but it wasn't a complete set for even four people, but it did have, and it wasn't all matching. It was kind of mixed and matched. So they did have these um, silver plated iced tea spoons, iced tea stir spoons. So they had four of them. They were different styles. So I picked them up for myself because I do like to have these. And then they had like a little teaspoon, baby spoon, which I like to have these as well because you can just tuck them in, like say you're serving hummus or a dip or a, something spreadable. Um, I do have like little serving spoons, but it's nice to put a little spoon in there. So I grabbed these for myself. If it had been a full set, I wouldn't have grabbed out the things I wanted or if they were all matching, I would have just picked up the whole set. But um, these are just um, iced teaspoons. They're not worth a ton in this condition and the set, like non-matching set that I have, but the long spoons, like so you can stir your iced tea. Um, that is something I don't, my girlfriend collects these too. And so I, so I thought of her when I picked them up. Funny thing about, I'll tell you a quick story and then we'll be done. When, um, my girlfriend slash sister-in-law, she's my best friend, has been forever and I just happened to marry her brother's husband's brother. Um, uh, anyway, we, she has, she collects lots of different things. And so for like the last nine months, I've kind of found things at the store that I thought she might be interested in. I got her, um, some egg cups and like these like clips that you clip onto uh, a tablecloth so it doesn't blow away so that like while they're on their boat having food, they can clip down the tablecloth wherever they're eating. Um, and I got her some, a Fiesta Ware, um, like chili bowls. They're a bigger <coughs> cup. And then I can't think of what the other thing was, a pair of mittens maybe, and some teaspoons. So then when we went to Idaho, I went, they were gone for the afternoon. We went out to their house and got there before them. And I just went around the house hiding all these things um, in spots that she would store them, but just to put them in there. And it was hilarious because she found the soup bowls right away because of course I moved something in the cabinet, other Fiesta Ware stuff. And she was like, did you, thank you. And I'm like, you know, I played innocent like I didn't give you those what are you talking about and I finally fessed up but she also found the clips because I knew what kind of junk drawer they would put the clips in for the um tablecloth and I'd put them in there and she found those right away too so I'm kind of she's got two for five I think there's three more hidden things throughout the house so I'm kind of interested to see how long it takes her to find those other three things um would I do that with just anybody no but I love her and she's my best friend and sister-in-law family so I can kind of do what I want so it was kind of funny just to tuck those around her house as a nice little surprise when she comes across that cabinet or looking for something. That's it. That's my haul. I will be posting more regularly now that we're into almost fall, September. Um, my summer vacation is over basically and I am going to get back into the grind. Um, but again, I probably won't be continuing to post the comps up on the screen just because that does take a lot of editing time for me and this way I can kind of breeze through and get things up without as much energy for myself. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Take care.